Hi everybody, this is Mikey here. I'm going to talk you through two poses today. We're going to do Ragdoll A and B. So Ragdoll A and B are the first poses that we do in our standing series once we finish our sun salutes. So to begin, we're going to take a standing position to the top of our mat. Feet are hip width apart or a little bit wider. We're going to inhale and then exhale, bending your knees. You're going to grab hold of your toes with your two peace fingers. Inhale and look forwards. Let your elbows wing out to the side. And then exhaling, drop your head down. Always good to begin a forward bend with your legs bent. And then you can start to work on trying to straighten your legs as you go deeper into the pose. Things to note on Ragdoll A, try to press the weight on the four corners of your feet. Keep your back long and straight. Let your elbows wing out to the sides and your shoulders are away from your ears. In this position, try to keep your focus on your balanced breath. So inhaling for a count of one, two, three, four, and exhaling four three, two, and one. Because you're holding your toes, it's easy to kind of get into the motion of trying to pull yourself down, but that doesn't help. So you have strong energy, yang energy in your legs, but your upper body is soft and relaxed. Coming out of the pose, inhale, release your toes. Exhale, bend your knees. From here, we're going to go into Ragdoll Part B. So, stepping onto your wrists. And you want to bring the toes all the way up. So you're really keeping the weight on your wrists. And then remember to keep the weight forward. So you're still keeping the weight on the four corners of your feet. With your knees bent, inhale, look forwards. And then exhaling, fold forwards. Drop your head down. You might find it quite difficult to straighten your legs here, but falling right back into your breath, that four by four breathing, you will start to see a lot of improvement come quickly. Once again, head and neck is heavy. Shoulders are away from your ears. Strong legs. Remember that, keep that weight on the wrists. This is also a good counter pose for your wrists because most of the other poses that we do in our practice, when we're in our plank, or lowering down, or even our downward dog, a lot of the weight is on the front, pressing on the knuckles and the fingers, and our palms are facing down. This is one opportunity where we get to do a counter pose and stretch out our wrists. To come out of this pose, you're going to inhale, release your hands. Exhale, place your hands on top of your hips. And then inhale all the way up to stand. So to recap, that's Ragdoll A and B. And just remember to take the steps slowly. All the same with four bends to begin with your knees bent. And then as you go deeper into the poses, you can work on straightening your, straightening your legs.